Young motherfucking how H time frontliner, and I'm with real tune, and you know it's real money in the room. No ceilings. Three. Hey, real tune, it's some real money in the room. All right, man. Today on Real Tune TV, we got one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? The Houston legend. You know what I'm saying? Acres Home 4-4. Um, Garn City. You know what I'm saying? The Bricks. Uh, the Bricks. Man, j Dog, the young hog, man. Uh, j Dog, how you feeling? Man, I'm free. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. That alone, man, is now all I can ask for. But you know, for us, you know, uh, in detail, I'm feeling pretty good, man. You know, uh, everything going smooth in my life right now. I'm pretty cool, man. Yes, that, that. Missing my mama like crazy. Yeah. But you know, rest in peace, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, um, but before we get into anything, what's new in your life? Man, uh, everything, man, you know, uh, new, uh, it's new people around me, you know, uh, every day now, you know, it's like, uh, you know, a new energy, you know, uh, music going good under new management, you know what I mean, you know, uh, you know, uh, learning how to live and move forward. Losing my mama, it feel like a new me, you know. I'd be lying to say if the feeling all the way feel better, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, you know, it's just uh, it's a lot of things new. New music, new, new uh, 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 business moves that we making and new ideas, you know. Uh, it's a lot of things new, man. You know, new year too. I just turned, you know, I just made another year, man. Okay, you know, okay. on Earth, man. A few weeks ago. If that long, huh? About a week ago. Yeah, about yeah, a week yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure. Well, um, so usually um, in a real tune interview, I like to take it from the top. Um, one thing about me is I like to get to know the person behind the music. Mm. Like the music is cool. You know, we love the music. And you one of them ones who actually live through your music. Right, right, right. So we can actually get to know you from your music. Right on. Uh, right but on. me personally, I like to get to know the artist behind the music. Right on. You know what I'm saying? However, you recently actually just dropped an album. Yeah. Um, yeah. And... My first question, Lord, let me tell you a quick story. Um, when I was going to start doing interviews, I'll never forget. Um, it was actually at your concert. I met you. This was in El Campo. And I want to say this was 20, 20, 20, uh, what year is it? 2024. This had to be 2020, 2019. You know what I'm saying? And I, I watched you rock out with a crowd. I think you had them play that Kodak Black. That, um, I that's the that too many years. Years that I can't yeah, get yeah, back. Yes, my shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and after that, you just tow it up. Day. Yeah. I still do that to this day. Yeah, yeah. Um, Man, so I just want to say, you know, um, here at Real Tune, you know, we just honored, grateful to have you in the seat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, bro. Long time coming. Show. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting to do, do Real Tune. Yeah, since I've been watching OG Prince up here with the way y'all rock, I love that yeah. shit. You know what I mean? It take one to know one, you know what I mean? Sure. Well, what, why, why did it take 13 years or so for you to drop an album? Man, listen, boy. First, to point the finger at myself, you know what I mean? You know, uh, man, uh, I got a up uh, attitude, you know what I mean? Especially when I get in my feelings, man. You know, so uh, I can be real petty at times. 
when I'm mad, you know what I mean, and I feel like I'm right. But you know, overall, I would say, as a unit, man, you know, the, to, you know, business went all the way right. You know, I didn't feel like, uh, you know, I just didn't feel like uh, I was I was being treated right, and I felt, you know, I, I damn near felt like, uh, you know. Uh, I felt like the music was the reason, you know, a lot of stuff was going on in my world. You know, I never started looking at the music like a curse, you know. Smile minded at the time, really just hurt. And you know, cause you know, the people who I was in business with was brothers. We all came up as young, you know, young in the hood together, you know what I mean? We was brothers. So you know, it was a lot of uh, it was a lot of things that I believe went wrong. Yeah, because when I when I when I when I was thinking about it originally, um, you know, behind tent volume one, classic, classic volume one, classic, yeah. um, volume it. two, super classic, right. industry level classic. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And. Everybody's jamming it. Where I'm from, you know, I'm from Richmond. Little small cities love J Dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of them live through J Dog. Yeah. But I'm talking from pen on fire, back tripping, and we're not even talking first 48. You know what I'm saying? That's a given. Yeah. Ride on foes, ride on foes remix. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, that that was one of the best bodies of work to come out of Houston. Yeah. And I don't think many people will argue with me when they say like. You know, um, when they mention legends, you've been there. And so for you to take a break after having arguably one of the best albums out of the city of all time, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it wasn't, it wasn't on purpose. You know what I mean? Okay. It was never planned to take a break. You know, you know, a lot of, a lot of, Things transpired during that time with, well, taking a break wouldn't have made no sense, you know. It just happened that way, you know. Sometimes I can't believe it, it took so long. And even now, you know, even now with the project drop, it didn't drop in the way that, uh, you know, I respect it. You know, uh, it wasn't like I was able to, you know, have my hands and dropping it to you, you know. To me, it was a, you know. Uh, to me, it was a messed up way that it, that this project was dropped, and you know, uh, it's a lot of verses on on, on on that CD that's already out. You know what I mean? With other songs and things, you know. It was just to me, it was you know a lot of a lot of bullshit, but. However, I'm grateful, man. You know, my people loving it. You know, they loving it, so it's for them. I'm more excited about what's next, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I, and I, I noticed that too, as far as the verses, like um, living in the projects, broke with no light song, mm -hmm. windows wide open so I could see when I write songs. You know, I didn't heard that before. Yeah, that, you was, know on what the, saying? that was on the project. Only thing different is nice on the original beat. Okay. And Devin the dude is singing the chorus. Right, right, right. right and, you know, right. that's one of the baddest motherfuckers ever picked up a microphone out of Texas to me. No, for uh, sure. For sure. For sure. Um, well, um, we see you got Zero on the album, Kiki on the album, and um, Devin the dude on the album. Um, let, let's talk about, like, why did you chose those three to... Man, man, it's those songs... Some of those songs are so old, just never been dropped. It'll amaze you, you know. Um, some of those songs I can't can't even remember, you know, what was going on at the time when we did those songs, you know. That's that, you know that that. A lot of those songs are, are very old, you know. So, you know, I don't remember, you know, like if. If if, if 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 I had it my way, 
I would it would have been more songs on there than that, and it would have been you know more features and more you know because a lot of things transpired. But one of the main things I'm grateful for by those being old songs was my right hand man who who you know everybody know he dead now. The song with me and him on there, you know, you know I love that song. Just to hear him on there and just, you know, so, bittersweet. Right. Um, you, you said that you didn't like how the album was dropped. Mm -mm. Why? I mean, because, you know, I'm under new management. And we got, a, uh, we got a new program that we running. And, and, and you know, uh, we've been running it. And, 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 you know, the people are excited again. You know, they see me back working and, and, and they see us back pushing. And, you know, for somebody to come and drop a project, of my, you know what I mean, of mine, you know, while we doing this, to me, it seemed like some opportunity type. You know, that's to me, you know what I mean? Right. I feel like uh, I'm up seeing us back in motion, getting back to working, and you know what I mean, you know, because like like you say, it's been a minute since I've been out there yeah, for a years. whole for a whole lot of reasons, and you know, uh, to me it was just uh, it wasn't right, you know. Uh, to me, it would have made a hundred percent. Uh, 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 it would have made more sense for us to to merge and make sure we do it the right way. You know what I mean? Right. But to me, it was like you know some planned out. Which, like I say, man, I ain't you know I ain't too bitter about it. Of course, you know I disagree. But whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? God good. You know, we moving forward. You know. Yeah, I um I saw I saw um prior to the album dropping, I saw you do a um press play freestyle. Right. It was like you did the press play freestyle um with Trade the Truth. Right. And you dropped the um the Seely and Pop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? One of the <clears throat> hardest verses, by the way. You know what I'm saying? I've been uh trying to get a place since I've been teething you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, to me, to me, that's one of the main reasons why that the project was hurry up and drop. You know what I mean? They see right. that we running with, with with you know, that's just my idea, you know what I mean? That's right. what I believe. It, it it threw me off because that song was on the album as well. It was like y'all right. dropped it and then it backdoed and dropped on the album. Right, 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 right. And a lot of people don't know the detail. And it ain't a lot of people business, you know. Right. You know, we definitely not uh, sitting around uh, with our hands tied behind our back or no shit like that. You know, uh, it just wasn't right, you know what I mean, the way, way it all happened. But now, now it's done, it, it doesn't happen. You know, so now the ball in our court. Right. You know, so. For a long time, I kind of lost my motivation with this whole music game and shit. You know, I wish it was a way that the artist could separate the business from the music. And to me, you know, in the, um, in, in, in my little dream world, to me, that would be perfect for for a label to to be trustworthy enough and, 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 and good enough to be able to do the business where that artist don't have to do nothing but create. Right. You know what I mean? To me, that you know, to me, that's messing up the game in a lot of way. If that artist to me, that artist shouldn't have to worry about, like, you know what I mean, such shit with business. And, you know, especially the real artists that really create, you know what I mean? And to me, that would have been a perfect situation for me. 
Right. You know. Right. Um, it is what it is. Well, let me just say this, and we can move on from the topic. But we hear those type of stories all the time. Like, literally, we hear them all the time. Um, but we don't too much hear them from the legends. You know what I mean? The people who actually have a voice to speak on stuff like that. You know what I mean? Right, or the right. people who, not even the people without a voice, I'm going to say the people whose voices that we respect. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The people that we, um, that we look to hear from. Right, and right. It's, it's, it's really sad because it's like, you know, we looking to hear from you and you disgruntled because you've had this situation. You know what I mean? And it's almost like when that play happened, I'm going to call it a play. When the play got ran, it's like, you know, we could kind of see it, but nobody really knows. You know what I mean? Yeah. I and that. it's like, you know, these are the people that we looking up to running yeah, the plays. That's, that's the part. Yeah, I just like what happened to to the homie. God, how you just dropped off the face of the earth. You know what I mean? I get it. I get it, and I admire people like Pac, who used to be able to work through the bull the way he did it. You know what I mean? Right. I definitely look up to him, and in these times, you know what I mean. Learning from that motivate me, you know what I mean? Because I don't believe by no means it's all right for the artists to cheat, you know, their fans and the people who need it. I feel like I done cheated mine a lot, you know what I mean? So, you know, I take full blame on that. But it just do something to my passion, man. It did something to, you know, it did something to me, you know. But fuck all that, I'm back now. You know what I mean? I'm ready. Sure. We back. You know what I mean? I um well recently uh you linked with OG Percy. Um my nigga, my n You know what I'm saying? Y'all did the remix to um his song Pain. 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 The people asked for that. Right. And when I heard that motherfucker, I was just like everybody else when I see, you know, the little video when he was in the in the street doing Right. And uh, I looked at the comments, man, and they was the people was asking for that, and y'all delivered, and that's I love that. That's what we supposed to do. We supposed to get them what they want. Yeah, that's my person, man. Now nah, for sure. Um, in in your verse particularly, it was some of the most um, honest, real, and transparent um, stuff I've ever heard. You know, which is, you know, your usual. You, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. <laughs> but um, you, in, in a, you you said, I almost smoked the Sherm the other day. H how do you be so transparent about things that other people, you know, hide? You know what I'm saying? That's like a closet thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, they might be ashamed of it, but I'm, I'm, I really come from that. Right. So to say I almost and I didn't do it, is an achievement to me, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that's that's like a reward for me. You know, uh, I beat that, 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 that test, you know what I mean? The devil didn't win, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he playing with me, you know what I mean? You know, type shit. You know, and uh, I know that's all, I know my kind, my that's what they deal with, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, for real, man. You'll be surprised, man. One of the strongest, I know one of my closest, you know, uh, homies ever, man, blew his own brains out. Hell of a father, hell of a husband, hell of a friend, strong, you know what I mean? And, and, and consistent, you know what I mean? You know, you, you knew it was part of his fingerprint, you knew it came with his DNA. And for him to do that shit, just never know what a person going through, you know? You never know, man. Yeah. That devil stay playing with me, man. Yeah. Um, let, let's, for a second, let, let's take it back real quick. So, um, you're originally from Houston. H-Town, Texas. Acres home. 9601. West Montgomery. 2900. 
Yeah, man. People from my hood go laugh at that. You know what I mean? Because we, you know, in our projects, we had different colors. You know, you had the gray section, the green. You had the yellow section. You know what I mean? And boy, we really got used to uh, trip with each other, you know, playing, but you know, I'm from the green section. I'm like, it's the green section, it's the yellow, you know what I mean? Yeah. So when I say 2900, you know, that's the front, that's the front, you know what I mean, of the hood, the back of them got another, you know, they got their own, so people gonna laugh, they gonna know that inside joke. Well, um, we hear a lot about the south side of Houston. We don't too much get the opportunity to hear much about the north side. How was it growing up on the north side? Man, that north raw. Man, listen. The north is ratchet as f You know what I mean? Uh, program. You know what I mean? The north is a mother It's so crazy, man. I was so small-minded coming up in them bricks. I thought if you was from the South, I thought you were South. That's how small-minded I was. My head up when I first went to the South and seen these just as gangster as us. That my head up. Because that's, is that the, 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 like the, the consensus of what people think in the North about the South is that people from the South weak. I don't know, know if that's just the overall understanding for the whole North. I'm talking about, I'm from the bricks. You know what I mean? I'm from the low end. And I can guarantee you 90% of my n out like that. You know what I mean? Before we ever went to the South. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, some of the first times that I can remember us planning to go to the South, it was only the road. You know what I mean? We thought that's where the money was at. We thought, let's go out here and take some. You know what I mean? My head up when I realized how gangster the South was. You know what I mean? My head up. You know what I mean? That's probably why I love CUNY Home so much. Now, you know what I mean? It's just like, uh, remind me of the bricks. You know what I mean? It's just like, my head up. I didn't even know it was like that on the south. We looked at them like they was more on the player type. You know what I mean? Right. And we, we you know what I mean? I would understand it. And like I say, they come from ignorance. You know what I mean? Not knowing. I would understand it was this is where the killers at. You know what I mean? Right. And um, it, it's also said like the north side. All you hear about is like bad stuff. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Like, like even me, like that's what that's what you hear about. You know, right, I don't, right. there's no reason to go to the north. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I'm so here to tell too. you. I'm here to tell you personally, and whoever listening, boy, it's the same mother thing on this south. I'm here to tell you. I mean, this is not known. I'm 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 so Houston is ridiculous. It's petty. You know what I mean? And when I'm telling you no glorification or none of it, rest in peace to all the fallen. But it ain't too many places nowhere on the south that you can go and it ain't the same goddamn thing. Don't let these new high rises and these new uh, 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 Airbnbs and lofts they throwing up, don't let that, that fancy pretty looking out head up now. Right. Don't let it fuck your head up. If you go out there, there's probably one corner store that you can go to, and you better find where that motherfucker is. That might be 10 miles away from your house, but that's probably the only one you good at. Right, right, right. Um, around when did you jump off the porch? Man, I'm from the bricks, man. And, and, and not to be funny, we ain't had no goddamn porch to jump off of. We was out there from day one. You know, I'm from a place, man, where it's nothing but mamas and some real stiff stepdaddy, you know what I mean? And they gotta be real stiff because, you know, you got, if you're a, step, a stepdaddy in the projects, you 
and they're all our daddy. You know what I mean? You, you for sure the full time quarterback. You know what I mean? I'm talking about for sure. You know what I mean? So, you know, to say, say it out, let's say all the women gangsters, all the women G's, you know, so uh, they'll be the first one to put your ass out. You better get your ass, you know what I mean? Because, you know, that's a woman raising men. You know, they don't know how to do nothing but be gangster. You know what I mean? They don't know how to do nothing but imitate a man. You know what I mean? Them the ones that punch on you. And then if you cry, you get a worse ass whooping. You know what I mean? Yeah, they the first one. The women the first one telling you, boy, you ain't no mother punk. You know what I mean? You sit there three, four months old, don't know what the f you talking about. <laughs> you just know you get put, put a frog in my goddamn wall. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's the project. That's the projects, man. So when 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 you say jump off the porch, you know, uh, I I don't even think it was a porch to jump off. I think everybody in that, you know, uh, my mama was a gangster, you know, in her own way, you know. So I don't, it wasn't no goddamn porch. I'm talking about it started in the house. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it stayed up. You went through your crash course right in the house. Straight up. You was ready for whatever I said. I'm talking about from the household. <laughs> Mama and them didn't play this shit. No games. <laughs> I'm talking about from the household. Yeah. Were you were you ever what what kind of kid were you in school? Did you play sports? <laughs> Tell you really out of line, man. <laughs> I, I know in the um. Tell you really out of line, man. <laughs> I know in a song, in a song you did um, called "My Life," mm -hmm. you um, you had a bar where you was you were fresh off the porch, no good at sports, mm -hmm. no good at school, no shoes, so you refused. Yeah, see, listen, man, I grew up in the ranking era, man. If you ain't had them J's or them, man, listen, you ain't want to go to no school. I ain't, man, I ain't spend no time in school. You know, that's sad. <laughs> that's sad, man. I don't got no school memories, man. That's sad. <laughs> I ain't do no school time, man. That's ain't even funny, man. <laughs> So, so while 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 everybody was at school, where were you? What were you doing? Somewhere getting high, man. Uh, now I did used to go to school. I ain't go to none of my classes. I used to just go like you know. I go look through the window if I see one of my homeboys. You know what I mean? Right. I sneak up in that bitch and ask him, "Is it anybody absent today?" And I just say, "I'm their name or some." You know, just really fucking out being an asshole. You know, I ain't getting put in, into adaptive behavior. You know what I mean? That's where they put you in one class all goddamn day. And you do whatever the fuck you want to do. And you in that motherfucking security guard in the class. And shit. Yeah. I got kicked out of that motherfucker. Then they put me in the school called Project Redirect. And they ain't number two days a week, two hours a day. Right. That's some of my biggest regrets, man. I ain't, you know, uh, you know how they, people had the proms and the dances. Right. I wasn't allowed to none of that type of shit. Field trips and shit. Man, I ain't had no field trip. You know, because it be shit you gotta do good to lead up to. Right. Yeah, if you don't do this, you don't go. Right. Field trip. I was f up in school. Yeah, I tripped up. Right. I tripped up, man. 
well um eventually around like age 17 you um you start rapping no i was rapping way before then okay yeah man y'all need to do a video with lamario man y'all gotta do a video with lamario man he's one of the h time legends but me and mario from the same hood we from the bricks and we you know we were best friends so we started rap. We had a rap group called Ghetto Delinquents. We was real young, you know what I mean? It went from that to Swish House. Swish House came about because we was killing these. We, me, him, and Slim Thug. Then we we had this uh, teenage club called the All Star. And Michael Watts was the DJ. And they, you know, we had freestyle contests on Fridays. And you know, we getting that murder murdered. And you know. Well, I seen that particular, like, y'all come flow on these CD, you know what I mean? So, you know, that's how the Swish House came about. So you were around at the origins of Swish House? First ones. You know I mean? I'm with that first group, period, you know? I was just a, um, I was a, I was a f up, just be honest with you, you know? I was the one. That they always talking about my boy Jay Dog on lock, or you know what I mean, some shit like that, you know. Or just out free and just out there thugging, you know, doing robbing and doing dumb shit, smoking water and shit. You know, crash dumb shit. I, I actually remember you talking about that in the in the in your music. You like your name started getting dirty. People um, fans started acting like they ain't never heard me. In and out of jail cells, like, like I'm, I'm cool, cool with, with it. it. Everybody saying he used to be a fool with it. Mm -hmm. Would you consider that like one of the darkest times in your life and career? Yeah, sitting behind them bars, listening to these blowing up. You know what I mean? Because you gotta remember, we 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 with the start of this. So now I'm in jail, and it's artists I'm hearing that wasn't even they was around, but they I ain't some of them I ain't no rap. You know what I mean? Like you know they was around us, but not even going platinum. And I'm in that man, it ain't no free J Dow campaign or nothing. So I'm like, man, I was. Up that much where my I ain't even in it talking about free me or nothing, you know. So I'm thinking, like, nah, if you die right now, boy, ain't nobody gonna be remembering you from, sh you know what I mean? You ain't gonna have to leave nothing, but I start thinking like that, like, dead poet, huh? <laughs> yeah, you gonna be a dead poet. <laughs> I knew it. For real. You know, it's interesting you say you were around at the beginning of Swisher House because Swisher House produced, um, or, or at least at that time, had Chameleonaire, Paul Wall. I remember, I remember when we... Mike Jones. I remember when we was, um, when we when we first started f***ing with Chameleon Paul. We was out really Swisher House. Right. You know what I mean? I, I remember, matter of fact, Pow Wow and Chameleon now, and two other cats, if I'm not mistaken, they had a group. When the we, Change in Colors clip. Nah. Okay. When we met them, they had a group called the Streetwalkers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Streetwalkers, yeah, man. They used to dress in all fatigues and all that Kind of like a cash money vibe. You know what I mean? This way before Color Change Click. You know what I mean? And, uh, that's when we met him. And I remember I me personally, my first time meeting them, we was at a um back in the days Houston had this um, I think it was every Thursday they had this club called Just Joking. And they had talent night. I mean it was on the south, keep in mind this north and south era of plicks and type. Right. So we at that you know what I mean? We at that man. And we watching the, uh, the 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 talent show. Everybody come up there, you know, they south side, they going up, they from the south side, we on the south side. 
When I heard them, when I heard one of them say fo-fo and all this, I'm so petty. That was all I needed to hear. I'm like, oh no, man, you know what I mean? So I started with them. That's when I switched numbers with them and shit. But come to find out, watching them did too. And start fing around too then, and then, you know, we end up blending. Mike Jones, he, um, I was so, uh, uh, ignorant to Mike Jones, I didn't even know, I thought he was part of the promotional team before I went to jail. I mean, he was on um, a couple of times on the road, he was the one driving, you know what I mean? He didn't smoke, he didn't drink. I'm like, that's, you know, one of the drivers. You gotta be a pretty clean dude to, to drive and, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, yeah, I seen Mike John hand out a few flies. I thought he was the promo team. I ain't know. I'm up in jail. They saying Mike John. I, I blew my motherfucking mind. I had to. I had to find out. I say I needed a picture. Yeah, you know I mean I wanted to see who is Mike John. When I seen who he was, I was like, man, that's the one. Who was the like a designated driver in my mind? Right. And I'm thinking like, I remember mad at him telling me to drive away right because Lyle was behind us. We pouring our drink. I'm trying to throw shit out the window. He swerved. I'm like, man, drive away. Right. I remember that shit, you know what I mean? And that man blew up like that. I didn't even know he rapped. And that was amazing. Mike Jones had to be one of the biggest motivations to me. Cause I was like, no, you know what I mean? Not the one who was driving, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, man, what the f And keep in mind, he didn't just come in. It wasn't just his turn. But we was already switched out. Like, nobody had went platinum. Right. Our goal. We ain't had none of that. They, this shit happened while I was in the penitentiary. These platinum gold and Mike Jones, era and Chameleon, them, this, that era, you know what I mean? It's the only era that went gold and platinum. We was just in the streets, you know what I mean? And the big reason why, you know, we had a lot of eyes and attention is because of screw. I mean, a lot of other motherfuckers, I don't know, they might disagree with me on that. But DJ Screw was that effective to me, to the point with just being the ones just no side version and a, just having a version, you know what I mean? Right. Alone to me gave us listeners, even if half the listeners listen to say, man, let me hear this boy what they talking about. You know what I mean? However, you know what I mean? That screw movement, you know, that's that era. And now side, when we did it, it catapulted us to be the face of the note, you know what I mean? Just because of screw, you know what I mean? So it made us have the face of the note, you know what I mean? How you feel about when people down Michael Watts for, you know, being the North Side screw? Oh, they stupid. Uh, when Watts came in the game, you didn't, I mean, they gotta remember Watson didn't come in the game with screw at his highest peak type shit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Watson didn't come in the game with, you know what I mean? Watson's been in the game just as long as, you know what I mean, screw. You know, and all. Uh, you know, for a motherfucker, I don't see how anybody can hate on Watson in any kind of way, you know, because screw was that damn different. You knew screw. Versus a Michael Watts, you know what I mean? It could have been all screwed and chopped up, but you knew when you was hearing Watts, you knew when you was hearing screw. You know, real screw heads. Uh, Mike did some things. To me, he's uh, underrated. Mike did some things, man. You know? And I believe he give homage to screw for a lot of I done seen and heard it myself, but you know, uh, Watts done done some major. 
Oh man, the, the one he just did for me, y'all heard it yet? What? That behind you? ten three. Right. Oh my God. Why well, just did the behind ten three? My screws and top version. This why so crazy? Them would have been on tour together if Scoop still was with me. Scoop would have respected that little while some respect to it. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Let me just rewind a little bit because I, I think we kind of jumped into it. At, at some point, you start gangbanging. Mm -hmm. Now, I've um, had the honor and privilege of doing some major research on like how gangs came to texas mm -hmm. and um i've had the honor to you know sit in front of you know just a lot of people i don't want to get the name and name some people you know they dealing with situations right now free solo you know what i'm saying dealing with situations you know what i'm saying i don't want to uh right. put nobody in a situation yeah, yeah, or yeah. affiliation or uh, 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 put yourself in that motherfucker. right yeah, yeah. and I, I will say um you know i am the media so i withhold my first amendment right of freedom of the press to maintain and withhold confidentiality anybody behind my camera you know what i'm saying put that out there disclaimer but um what made you go the route that you went um Probably because of my OG, my cousin, Lakeith, my OG Capo, you know what I mean? You know, uh, I fell up under them, you know, and just uh, under their leadership as far as in these streets, you know, and both of them was banging, you know what I mean? So, you know, I think it was inevitable. I think whatever they had going, I was ready to die by it, you know what I mean? And ride for it, you know, so. With that bond, you know, because it wasn't big in my hood. It wasn't big nowhere in Houston. You know what I mean? So, just so happened. My OG, shout out OG Capo. Rest in peace, OG Lil Lee, Lil Cross. You know what I mean? Yeah, and this is early 90s, 2000s. Yeah, early 90s. Yeah. I'm 81. I'm born in 81, early 90s. Right. Well, um, Houston, um, it, Houston, um, then and even now, you know what I mean? The Crips are like the biggest thing out here. Mm -hmm. um, somebody, I interviewed somebody um, and they were like the H didn't stand for Houston that in the hat that screw war. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about DJ Screw, the biggest and most influential mm -hmm. person to come out of Houston, right? Um, but when you go to prison, you know what I mean? It, it, you, you got the Hoovers from Houston, and then you got the Hoovers from the DF Dub, and it's like two different things, and it's it, it's, it's constant war. I, um, yeah, yeah, it's all, uh, you know, uh, it's all from the teaching, you know what I mean? You know, uh, Usually it, it, it's a conflict with HCG and HGC. Right. You know, that's usually the conflict. Because, you know, uh, a lot of people believe HCG is non-existent. You know what I mean? A lot of people feel like, you know, that's just something that was created in certain parts of Funky Town, certain parts of Houston, certain parts, you know what I mean? And it's not, you know, widely accepted, you know, and, you know, they push the G, the GC, you know, and, you know, it even happened with me, you know, I didn't have issues behind that, you know, coming on one way, but it just come from a, uh, a lack of information, you know what I mean? Right. But I can tell you not, you know what I mean? If you in the, in the any county penitentiary system, now in Texas, you know, they push them one way, you know what I mean? From Dallas to Houston, you know what I mean? It's one way, you know what I mean? Right. A lot of that shit got cleaned up. You know, a lot of shit taught in TYC, mm. too, you know what I mean? This, this you know, it's a Stay con sure. conflict, you know what I mean? You know, that kitty shit with motherfuckers learning shit off a piece of paper and shit. You know, 
but some people, man, they just, uh, you know, they go with the way they hood talk, you know what I mean? They really repping a, 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 a nationwide set, but you really doing it the way your hood is, your hood or nothing, you know what I mean? So really you pushing y'all, y'all rules, y'all way, you know what I mean? Uh, you know. But the, you know, uh, still, it's anxious, you know what I mean? You know, so at the end of the day to me, you know, that's that's what it is, period. You know what I mean? So it's only one way to go about it, you know what I mean? When you're in your hood, whatever y'all do, you know what I mean? That's y'all way, you know what I mean? With when you politicking and connecting with, you know, the rest of the homies there, well, you know, it's really only one way to push them. Right. Um. How, however, it is. So you get out of jail, and when you get out of jail, this is when you join or sign to Boss Hog Outlaws. Yeah, but you know, it was, it was Boss Hog before then, because you gotta remember. I was one of the ones with Slim that left Swish House together and we started doing the boss house. You know what I mean? You know, we we left together, you know what I mean? So if if somebody do their research, you ain't never heard boss house with that mean, you know what I mean? Right. You know, it's no about you know, it's from the beginning. You know, I I believe our first C D car coming out hard. You know what I mean? You know, I'm rapping right behind us, you know, we left Swiss House together, you know. Well, when, so when you get out, I'm trying to see, how, how do you get back to the music after everything done transpired in Houston? It was expected of me, and I ain't writing not one, I don't know why I ain't writing not one motherfucking rapper in jail ever. But it was expected of me, and you know, when I came home, you know, I think, um, me and Rayface hook, hook back up. You know, Rayface, you know, he was one of the OGs too in the hood. You know, street OGs too, you know what I mean? So, right. when Rayface hooked back up, and I think that was just, it was history after that. Because right. when I came home, Slim, he was in the best position. You know what I mean? You know, for us. Getting back in the music and, and getting, you know, getting back with, you know, he was he was doing all the good, you know, he was the one uh, really pushing that line nationwide. It made sense, you know, Ray Face, he one of the CEOs, of Boss Hall, and we family, you know, so it made sense. My style, you know, my 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 artistry. It just always been the perfect order. Right. Um, so you put out Behind 10 Volume 1, classy. You know what I'm saying? I think um, I, w I was talking to uh, D. Jones. I was like, you know, a J Dog album is really like a mini biography. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Autobiography. Like you kind of tell the story all the way through. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, yeah. Let me take you back to 17. I yeah. was in the hood, Jay Walk, look at me. Look at me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then you even go before that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Literally. Yeah. Like, that's the J Dog. And then. Um, yeah, I tell my story. Right. Right. And um, I think then after Behind Tent Volume 1, you come with. Still Behind Tent. That was before Behind Tent Volume 2? I think. Or wasn't they like the same? I know some of the songs was like the same. Yeah, I think that was that was before Behind Ten Two, still Behind Ten. Right. And then I did the joint project with PJ, Hogan and Shining, and uh, the Seven Collect project. Seven Collect was hard. And then Behind Ten Two. With um, then you you had that project with um. It was zero, you, and let's see. Let's see, yeah. Keep on stacking. Yeah, keep on stacking, part one. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. I miss my. Let's yeah. see. 
Let's see my man. Yeah, that was hard. That was hard. Um, that's my little bro. But when you came with Behind Tent Volume Two, it was like, like I say, industry level. Yeah, cause we just music. Said, we gonna do our real original beats. You know what I mean? Right. You know. Uh, a lot of that behind tier one, boy, we would have known better, could have been under some original beats. I love that one. That one hard. Yeah. I love that one. You can't feel my pain. You know what I'm pain. saying? Pain. When you, um, when you made, and I don't want to stick too, too deep on the past, but when you made First 48, like, how did that change your life? Mm, I don't know. I think first 48, it just gave me a, it, it, it was a different edge in them goddamn clubs with first 48, man. You know, it just, my shows always, it's crazy. My yeah. shows, you know, they my, my people word for word every song, you know what I mean, at the shows back then. And first of all, they just gave it a different kind of, mm. That be so hard. Snoop Dogg sent me the remix. Snoop Dogg? Yeah, before I ever met him, he sent me the remix. Two, he put two verses and a chorus on it. That's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, um, well, you know, we talked about the last album you just did. What do you have coming up that we can expect? Man, we finna drop this bad EP. And then we, 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 we don't know, we don't know if we want to drop behind 10 folk real quick or do we want to just start a new cycle of all, uh, you know what I mean? You know, maybe we we might be at the end of the behind tent saga, you know what I mean? So maybe it's time. Hell of a saga. Yeah, so maybe it's time to, you know, go another direction. But definitely we're gonna drop a lot of music. And uh, thanks to Percy, we're gonna do my book. Amen. And I'm excited about this movie, man. Me and my arm. Anybody know me know Dallas is my second home, you know, and all. Me and my niggas, you know, we done wrote the script up. We got a mean uh, uh movie, blueprint. And, and hopefully, you know, uh, that won't be too far away. From completion, man. You know, I'm just working, working this shit, man. Like I all, uh, like I said, new new management, and I got a motherfucker work like he on powder or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> this motherfucker, this nigga detail. Big act like he be these riddling or some. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. but. Yeah, so, but with that type of uh, structure right there, I mean, I just feel like my fans deserve it, but I don't know if they know how much of it they finna get, but they, you know, we back. Right. We back, man. But watch Twisted Black, man. <laughs> I'm loving this shit. I've been watching Twisted, man. Watching OG, man. I remember being heartbroken watching him, you know, get shocked up. And to see what's going on now, man, I'm excited for Texas, man. I ain't gonna lie, when we lost Pimp, I was like, boy, Texas took a blow. But we gained us some, you know, legends back. And I'm I'm super inspired right now, so let's get it, man. Yeah.
Uh, um, I, I just I just want to ask this before I let you go. Um, one of the people who um has like the voice in Texas is Sauce Walk. Um, My boy, Walk. I I did an interview with Walk a while ago. He referenced you in your music um to his era of coming up, and he came up in a very interesting era of Houston. I remember it. Um. The the click era is mm-hmm. what I call it. Um, they mash mode one hundred. It's just it was a lot of clicks um, in Houston. Even a lot of the clicks that are going on right now spurred off of that era. Um, and you came up in a slightly different era. It's more like the, the gangs were the big focus, and now it's the clicks. Um, wh- what did you see and know about that era? How do you feel about that? My era. era? The click era. Oh uh, yeah, man. Uh, man, I don't know, man. I don't. It happened. It happened so quick. It really scared me. Cause in that era, every other day, my it was a new game. You know what I mean? They had a new game, you know what I mean? All they had to do was go get the tattoo and get a chain. And what I'm talking about, you had all kind of names of games and shit. And they all was ready to kill and die about it. So it was, uh, it, it was a little uh, weird trying to adjust to it. Kind of glad that's over, you know what I mean? But it gave birth to what a lot of shit we see in that. I mean, so I'm loving it, you know what I mean? At first it seemed like it was gonna be hell of a divided. And it kinda scared me thinking that we was gonna go back into that era of division, you know what I mean? But it seemed like these young men getting along. The more money they get, the more they get along, it seemed like. Right. So So I just pray for prosperity for them. You know what I mean? Because when they get their money, they seem like they be smiling them, uh, happy to them on their account. You know, so y'all get that money, man. Like Pimp say, getting that bread truck. Hey, real tone, it's the real money in the room.